Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Meyerhofer. I play flute and piccolo in the Omaha Symphony. Just wanted to give you some background on myself. I currently live in western New York where I teach flute and I also tutor math and science. I went to Ithaca College for my undergraduate degree. I got a bachelor's in music education and performance and then I went on to Northwestern University for my master's in performance. Since then I've been taking auditions of roughly five or six per year until I got to where I am today. And besides Omaha, I also play second flute with the Chattanooga Symphony and principal flute at Opera in the Ozarks, which is in Northwest Arkansas. And I occasionally play with the Canton Symphony in Ohio and here in the Buffalo Philharmonic. So you might notice that's a pretty wide spread of locations. And yes, I do travel a lot, both driving and flying. Uh, it's a, something that's pretty unique to a career as a musician and I certainly didn't expect to be all the places I am today. Uh, it's pretty exhausting sometimes, but it's completely worth it with all the experiences I'm gaining and I love it. Then I get to all my sheet music here. I have plenty of binders that I've got stocked with orchestral excerpts and music. So these are all the excerpts I run into frequently at, in auditions, so I like to keep them all in one place there, nice and handy. These are full parts. Most of these I just uh, print off of IMSLP or through the CD-ROM libraries that you can get. Uh, this is the S through Z composers. Um, if I have any nice copies, I keep them in the nice plastic covering here. And so these are all my flute parts here. And I have piccolo parts and alto flute parts keep those separate, so it's easier to find. I have a binder, binder just for warm-ups, any loose papers related to warm-ups. And I keep uh, collections of past auditions, rep lists in here, and some various other things. Here are my oversized scores. I've got index cards that I use for flashcards throughout the years. Uh, mostly for excerpts these days, but you can always do something like that for scales or uh, preparing for a recital, too. Alright, moving on. I've got my sheet music here. So, etudes, collections of solos, and uh, some excerpt books. Lots of scores scattered around. Chamber music here. This is all of my flute music with accompaniment. And I keep separate the solo flute literature. Down here is the piccolo and alto flute parts, and some more scores and things. I like to keep a lot of miscellaneous stuff in decorative bins. Makes everything look a lot nicer, and if I don't know where to put them, they get thrown in here. Um, they're sort of themed, though. I got some tech stuff and 3M hooks and things like that. Metronome sitting out, and something I like to do with all of my spaces is decorate. Makes it a lot more cheerful. So right now we've got everything going for spring and Easter. Moving on to this half of the room. Pretty much can't look anywhere in my room without finding some post-its. Nice and colorful. Uh, here's an example of how I use those. Whenever I have a particularly tricky spot in my music, I like to put the transparent post-it on top and then I can catch it easily before I even get to that spot. I'm a visual learner, so this is really great for me to learn as quickly as possible. I can find these. Sometimes I color code them based on how hard they are. Uh, moving on to my shelves over here. The top row is anything I use most frequently. So I've got opera things here. Uh, this is my current materials, so current solos. Uh, usually my audition materials will be here. I'll show you this. This is my audition binder, and there's one thing uh, that I created that I use a lot to practice. Uh, I just had these laminated. I can use Expo Marker on them. Uh, but I've got Composer listed here. I'll write down whatever pieces I'm working on. I have a section for any notes that I can keep track of what I really need to work on. A uh, section for what tempo I'm currently working at. Uh, have I studied the score at all? Have I listened to it recently? I can keep track of everything. I'm not uh, very good with the whole journaling thing for practice. It never really worked for me, so this is a much better way for me, at least, to keep track of what I've been working on and my progress. So there's that. Moving on, and of course all my sections here are marked with uh, colorful post-its. So these are my daily exercises. I've got etudes, 
and excerpt books over there. Everything else is uh, extra supplies, miscellaneous things, some magazines, um, binders, spare notebooks, things like that. I've got a repair kit down here. It's got a lot of excellent supplies for my flute. Um, but here's the repair kit that I travel with. Highly recommend this for any instrument. Um, just some of the bare essentials that I would need in an emergency. So I've got glue, razor blades and cork, screwdriver, things like that. Uh, this is actually just a makeup bag, so really convenient to take all those supplies in. Um, whenever I practice, I like to have plenty of space to lay everything out. So I've got this, this surface here. I usually put my iPad there, whatever music I'm working on. My piccolo's got its own little bed. More post-its. Uh, I've even mixed in my uh, cleaning swabs with my decor here. And then space heater because unfortunately it is a basement and the temperature fluctuates constantly. Um, more storage over here. Got some things under here like my uh, recorder, some other tech, tech uh, devices. Uh, once I started traveling like crazy for all of my orchestral gigs, um, I decided to get myself a planner. Um, I'm sure many of you watching this are the type of person who does pretty much everything they possibly can, so you got to keep track of your life somehow. I love using a planner, and if you're going to get one, get one that makes you happy, <laughs> which is what I've done here. Uh, I like using the planner stickers. There's a whole like mini industry going on right now with organizing planners. Check it out online or at uh, craft stores. There's lots you can find. Uh, I'll show you an example of one of the pages in here. I love these stickers to keep track of your flights, little tabs, keep track of tasks. Um, basically, I just write everything down just so I don't have to keep it stuck in my head all the time. And then besides that, I also have this handy calendar up here. I created this a long time ago. It's actually all made up of paint samples from Home Depot. I've just went and picked out all my favorite colors and measured it all out and stuck them on here, had it laminated and uh, keep track of my important uh, dates and times on here. It's just a nice little touch on my wall. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed your little tour and hopefully you got some good inspiration and in ways to make your practice spaces and workspaces a little more exciting. I definitely believe if you're happy in the space where you're working, you're going to be a lot more productive and enjoy what you're doing. So thank you again and happy practicing.